Welcome back to Beyond Art Tutorials. My name is Chris. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit of Photoshop's pen tool and this is kind of an editorial segment where I'm going to talk about using the pen tool versus inking by hand. And uh, it's my firm belief that inking is an, a very important part of your artwork, as important as even the initial drawing. And I think you do yourself a huge disservice by using the pen tool to ink your artwork versus just inking by hand. Or um, if you ink by hand, but use a digital tool such as Paint Tool Sci or Corel Painter. And I, I have a list of them in the audio following this. Uh, but this is a little errata note though. I keep referring to the pen tool as Photoshop's ink tool. And that's, in, in my mind, that's what I call it. But that is not the proper name of it. The proper name is the pen tool. So when you hear me say ink tool, I'm really talking about the pen tool. Okay, so uh, enjoy the segment. There are a ton of both online and offline lessons that can show you quickly and easily how to use Photoshop's ink tool and, uh, and how to ink your artwork with it. Uh, while I think it has its uses and I think it's great for quick designs or making inanimate objects or making props or whatever, I really think it is a useless tool for you to ink your artwork with. I really think you're better off using your own judgment, your own hand on paper, using some brush pens or nibs or whatever, using another digital tool such as Corel Painter, my favorite Paint Tool Sci, Alias Sketchbook Pro. There are uh, many different tools. Open Canvas is another one that comes to mind that would just be way better off uh, inking with those than using Photoshop for any type of inking. I think the ink, ink tool becomes kind of a crutch and what it does is it's kind of trying to be a vector tool and it sm makes smooth lines so you can plot vertices along where you've sketched a line you plot your vertices you, you you skew the curve of the line to bend it the way you want it to bend but there's an inherent flaw with that all the energy of your line becomes lost when you try to emulate the energy you had when you drew it by plotting vertices along it and and essentially tracing over it and anytime you try to really trace over your line work, you're losing something in that translation. And it's bad enough when you try to trace it by hand, when you just try to trace one-to-one -one what you did. But when you try to trace it with a mathematical-based tool like the ink tool in Photoshop, it becomes even worse. And what it will do is it'll force you not to think about line width, curves, and, uh, and all the energy that you had flowing through the artwork when you initially drew it is going to be gone because you're going to be too busy paying attention to getting it perfect. Uh, you're going to be too busy paying attention to how lines curve and plotting vertices and doing all this stuff. And it, uh, it actually, in some cases, when you have a really detailed piece of line work, sometimes it can take even longer to ink with that and you're getting less out of it than if you did it by hand. So I'm going to show you two sketch lines, one done over with Photoshop's ink tool and one done over in my personal favorite paint tool Sci, where I'm just going over it with my hand and show you the difference and tell you that my preference is by hand. By, even if I didn't have Photoshop, it would just be better off inking by hand. Now Photoshop's a great tool, don't get me wrong, I'm not berating it, uh, don't hate, uh, I think it's great for you know, cleaning up your line work. I showed you in my last video how to use it to clean up your line work. And definitely when you take it to the color stage, yeah, it's probably the best tool out there, bar none, for, you know, just doing any type of, uh, any type of color work, uh, even painting. You know, even though there's Corel Painter, I honestly think Photoshop is a much more versatile tool <laughs> for coloring artwork than even Corel Painter. And that's saying a lot. So, but for inking, I say trust your judgment and do your own line work. Don't rely on Photoshop to do that, the ink tool, um, because it's just going to suck the energy and life out of your line work. And that problem multiplies as you go along. And when you finish the picture, you're going to realize every line is even and every line is so smooth. And I remember when I started drawing, I thought, wow, that's the key to line work. It has to be smooth, you know. It has to flow. 
those those curves they got to be perfect it's got to be even it's got to look like animation you know all those lines have to be perfect and i didn't realize then when i started to learn i realized it wasn't about that at all having smooth lines isn't that important lines with texture with life you know that you draw by hand that have energy it doesn't matter if they're jagged it doesn't matter if the texture is uh, rocky or it bleeds and, you know, or if it has little skews in it, 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 that doesn't matter because that's part of the character of the line. And each line in your drawing is important. No matter what you think, you look at the whole drawing. If you drew, um, you know, the Enterprise and you're like, well, it's all geometric shapes and, you know, whatever, there's still uh, such a, a, a subtle character you give to it when you do those lines with your own hand rather than relying on a tool rather than using stencils and compasses and whatever to try to get that perfect circle the perfect shapes you know if you drew uh like a a girl character you know rather than using french curves to get those perfect kind of curves for her leg or hips you know the upper body her chest whatever instead of using stencils and curves you use your experience, use your hand to judge those things, those curves, and then, you know, tweak them as you go along, but you, it comes from you, it's coming from your mind, that energy is coming from your mind down your hand into the, into the pen. And once you can realize those tools, while they have their usefulness, and they have their handiwork, especially when doing background, and then I'll talk about that uh, later on, when you have to do, like, trees and leaves and stuff, certainly. Those tools really come in handy because that work gets tedious real fast. And you will run out of energy super fast unless you have uh, some tools to lean on and help you. But um, for character design, nah. I think you're better off just doing it on your own. So I'm going to recommend a couple of things right now. So for hand inking, I know I've been talking about it. And one of the best books I think for hand inking you could get your hands on is The Art of Comic Book Inking by Gary Martin. Now, originally it came in two volumes. It was published by Dark Horse. And, uh, you know, both volumes are very good. But I think they printed an Uber edition that had both volumes printed in one book. So I highly recommend you get your hands on that and read it. There's so much information in there. I can't even elaborate too much talking about, you know, using black shadows, you know, fills, negative space, you know, using white to tell the story. It just, there's so much stuff in there, and it's just full of great info, and I think it's one of the best books on inking. There's a, a few other books on inking also, but I think that's probably the best that I've seen. You know, if you want to attend a local course at your school and inking and stuff, you could do that, but I recommend that book. It's, 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 uh, it's cheap, and it ha it's full of information. If you practice from it, I'm sure you can get something out of it, and it'll help build your confidence. That's what it's all about. You want to build your confidence and really make something, you know, that, that's your own. That's really the key to getting better and improving an art is not relying on a tool and, and, and mastering a tool. Because in the end, when you have to ink, if you go to a show, if you go to a comic book show and someone asks you to ink something and you're lugging out your laptop like, oh, I got to go into Photoshop and use the ink tool. Ah, uh, that's not, that's not really exciting or anything you know when you can do it on paper and you can do it by hand when you can just command it without a computer without anything when it comes from you using a few simpler tools that is that are easily accessible then you know it becomes fantastic and I think you'll be way better off so uh, that's my advice you know the main message is that the holy grail for inking is just you know self-expression it's just whatever you wanted to bring out with your sketch in the first place, you're really accentuating it with ink. You're bringing out that life more so, not just tracing it. You're accentuating all the life and energy of your drawing with your inks. That's what you're doing. It's not about being smooth. It's not about tracing. It's about accentuating the life of your artwork. So that, uh, that can only be really, truly... Uh, achieved I think uh, by hand you know even with another software tool like paint tool sci or Corel painter you have a way better shot 
of not only preserving the life of your artwork, but accentuating it using those tools because they'll help you with effects, you know, with painter, you can get textures, uh, you can have bleed with your lines with paint tool Psy, It has multiple levels of uh, tightening so you can get some smoothness. A little trade-off, you know, your hand maybe jitters too much on a tablet or a Cintiq because you're not drawing on paper. And you can kind of compensate for that with uh, the algorithms in the program. You can adjust it like a dial. You can just choose your level and of pressure sensitivity and smoothness and actually get a nice balance of your energy and smooth lines, which I think is fantastic. So that's why I recommend Paint Tool Size My Tool. When I have to ink. If I don't use that, then I'm just using brush pens. Uh, my brush pen of choice is the Faber Castle Pit Artist pens. Uh, I usually find them in packs of four. They're four sizes, uh, like a really fine point, a semi-fine, a medium, and a large brush. Not it's not large, it's as large, it's um, you know, probably a one millimeter thickness. But uh those pens, the ink is phenomenal. It's truly black. And that, uh, I think, is really important because I've used uh, microns, the Pigma microns, and I don't think that ink is uh, as deep a black as, as it should be. It, it sort of looks gray. And especially uh, when you clean up your, your sketch work, if you ink with the microns, if you ever notice, if you take a vinyl eraser and really uh, rub it out, it, it kind of cracks and it fades. And I haven't really been a fan of those since I, I was discovering that with my work. The switch to the pit artist pens and that black is phenomenal so i'm going to talk more about that at a later date but you can find uh photoshop ink tool lessons anywhere i'll post links at the bottom of this uh in the post itself if you really want to use it you go ahead and you know you're free to do whatever you want it'll give you smooth lines but i think the uh the trade-off the cost is too high for really achieving great artwork 